Hi everyone! In today's video we will do another project using Monte Carlo simulation. We will make predictions of Nvidia shares using Python. If you don't know me, I'm Karina, I'm ex-finance person turned data analyst turned data scientist. Monte Carlo simulation is a statistical technique used to understand the impact of risk and uncertainty in predictions and forecasting models. This method relies on repeated random sampling to obtain numerical results. The steps in Monte Carlo simulation. You start by defining the problem you want to solve and the model or system that represents this problem. This involves identifying input variables and their relationship to the output variables. The next step to identify the probability distribution for the uncertain variables. These distributions describe a likelihood and range of possible values for each uncertain input. The next step to generate random samples. Use a random number generator to create a set of random samples for each uncertain input variable based on their probability distribution. The next step is to run simulations. Run a large number of simulations or iterations each time using a different set of random values for the uncertain inputs. For each iteration, calculate the model's output using the sampled inputs. Next step, analyze the results. Collect the results of each simulation ran and analyze the distribution of output. This helps to understand the range, central tendency and variability of possible outcomes. And the last step, interpretation of the findings. Use analysis to to make informed decisions by understanding the probability of different outcomes and the impact of uncertainty on models predictions. There are different applications of Monte Carlo simulation. For example, in finance, it is used to assess the risk and uncertainty of investment portfolios, stock prices and option pricing. In healthcare, it's used to predict the spread of the disease and the effectiveness of treatment strategies. All right, let's make our predictions for NVIDIA shares. For our analysis, we will work with the following libraries. We will work with NumPy, Pandas, Yfinance, and Matplotlib. So Yfinance is Yahoo Finance, and it is used to download historical stock data. NumPy provides support for arrays and mathematical functions. Pandas will be used for data manipulation and analysis, and Matplotlib will be used for plotting our graphs. So as a first step, you need to install all those libraries with exclamation mark, pip install, then pandas, numpy, yfinance, and matplotlib. Then you need to run this line of code. In my case, all those libraries are already installed. That's why it says that requirements already satisfied. And now we need to import those libraries. So we need to import pandas spd. We need to import numpy snp. Import matplotlib pyplot as plt. Import yfinance as yf. So from scipy stats, import norm. Now let's run it. Only warning about pandas, but no other errors. As a next step, we need to import the data for our stock prices. So we will create a new variable called data equals yf.download brackets. In the brackets, you need to indicate the ticker of the shares you want to download. So the ticker for NVIDIA is NVDA. Let's run it. And if you don't know the ticker for the shares, you just need to Google it and Google the name of the company shares and it will give you three or four letters that are used on a stock exchange. Let's check how our data looks like with dot head. So data dot head brackets and it shows us the latest record. So the latest record is for 1999. So if you don't want to get all historical data, but you want to get shares for specific period, you can add start date and end date to your syntax. And the syntax will look like this. It will be data equals yf.download brackets. Again, ticker of the shares you want to download, comma, start, and then you put a start date, comma, and equals an end date for your shares. As the next step, we will calculate the daily returns of the stock. We will use the function PCT underscore change brackets. And this function calculates the percentage change between the current and previous closing prices. So for example, if today's closing price is $105 and yesterday's closing price was $100, the return will be $105 minus 100 divided by 100, which is 5%. So we will create a new column called returns. So data square brackets quotes returns equals 
we will use our column close so data square brackets quotes close dot pct underscore change brackets let's run it we can rerun again data head and see how this new column looks like so that's how it will look like as a next step we need to set simulation parameters so we need to select number of simulations and number of days so we can make our prediction for six months whole year or i would like to do it for 22 work days because i believe there are 22 work days in a month so that's what i will be using so we will create two variables first one is the number of simulations num underscore simulations equals 10,000. Another variable will be number of days, so num underscore days equals 22. The next step, we need to retrieve the last closing price. We will create a new variable called last price, which will retrieve the last available closing price from the data. This price serves as the starting point for all the simulations. We are creating a new variable called last price equals our column close, so data square brackets quotes close dot i log square brackets minus one so the next step we will prepare an array to store our simulations we will create an empty numpy array to store the simulated uh, stock prices for each day and each simulation so let's create a new variable called simulation df then we will use numpy to create numpy array so np dot zeros brackets another brackets and it will be number of days and number of simulations so num days comma num simulations as a next step we need to calculate mean and standard deviation of our returns so mu will be a mean of daily returns we will create a new variable called mu equals data square brackets returns dot mean brackets and then we need to create a new variable sigma which is standard deviation of uh, daily returns so it's a sigma equals data square brackets returns dot std empty brackets why we create mu and sigma because these parameters are used in the geometric brownian motion formula to simulate a future stock prices we will be using gbm model because this formula provides a more accurate representation of stock prices movements accounting for both the drift or mean return and the volatility which is a standard deviation the GBM formula looks like this. How to read this formula? If you look at the mu minus 0.5 multiplied by sigma squared, it adjusted mean return accounting for volatility. Sigma multiplied by epsilon t is a random shock scaled by volatility. Now we need to create a loop to simulate the price path. In Python, we create loop using four. So we will say for simulation in range number of simulations colon. Our outer loop will run the simulation for the specified number of simulations. That's why we say num simulations. Then we create the variable price list, which initializes the last closing price. And then we create another loop, our inner loop, which simulates stock prices for each day. We'll say price underscore list equals brackets last price. Now we will create our inner loop, which simulates stock prices for each day. That's why we say 4D in in range num days colon now we will generate a random price based on gbm formula which i showed to you before so we say price equals so this is how our formula will look like in the formula price underscore list minus one refers to the last element in the price list which represents the most recent price np.exp it's a function from numpy library which calculates the exponential of the given input this is used to continuous compounding growth models in this case mu represents the average return of the price sigma represents standard deviation of the price returns 0.5 multiplied by sigma is the term represents half the variance of the returns and numpy.random.normal it generates a random number from a standard normal distribution with mean equals zero and standard deviation equals one and with every simulation we need to append the price we need to save those simulations that's why we will say price list dot append price 
We also need to store the simulated prices for the current simulation. That's why we add in the next line of code, simulation df square brackets colon comma simulation, meaning that we are selecting all the rows in the column indexed by simulation. Then we say equals price list square brackets one colon nothing and it will select all elements from the second element to the end from the price list. As a next step, I suggest we extract the final price of each simulation. We will create a new variable called final prices. It will be simulation df square brackets minus one colon. Let's also calculate the median of the final price. We will create a new variable median final price equals numpy median final price. So it will be np median final prices. Then we need to find the index of the simulation with the final price closest to the median. We will create a new variable called most likely simulation index equals it will be numpy.argminimum. So argmin find the index of the smallest absolute difference. Then we say brackets, then we say np.abs. This numpy function will convert differences to their absolute values. And then in the brackets, we say final prices minus median final prices. In this case, it returns the index of the final price that is the closest to the median final price. I also add a step to extract the most likely simulation paths because our Monte Carlo simulation will simulate many, many paths. You will see them now on the graph, but I want to ask the simulation to tell me what is the most likely simulation path? What is the most likely price of shares in 22 days? This can be done with the following syntax. We will create a new variable called most likely simulation equals the name of our data frame simulation underscore df square brackets and then colon comma most likely simulation index. Now let's plot the results of our simulation. So we will use matplotlib to plot the simulations. When you visualize your results with matplotlib, the first step you always select the figure. That's why we say plt.figure bracket. Then you select the figure size. I will select it 10 to 5. The next step you plot in the graph. To do that, you say plt.plot brackets and then you select what you're visualizing. In our case, it is simulation underscore df. Then we need to add title and labels. So to add a title to your visual, you say plt.title brackets in brackets. We say Monte Carlo simulations for Nvidia stock price. To add X label, you see PLT dot X label brackets and it will be days. To add Y label, we say PLT dot Y label brackets price and to display our graph we say plt.show empty brackets. Let's run it and this is all the simulations done by our Monte Carlo simulation. And let's add the final line of code. I want to print the most likely simulation final price. So we say print brackets and we use f string f quotes the most likely simulations final price is and then in curly brackets we refer to most likely simulation square brackets minus one and let's print it so it's saying that the most likely simulation final price is 1252 let's check what is the final price at the moment when i'm making these videos let's do data dot tail brackets and it will give us five latest rows of our data frame so we can see that closing price yesterday was 1224 and our Monte Carlo simulation says that in 22 days the final price will be 1252. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comments below what other projects you want me to work on and I hope to see you next time.